Hi, Magdalena here, World of Coins. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, this is a video response to Christine and Celeste. Um, it's a medium uh, skill spread. I saw this on Lisa's channel, Tarot Alchemist. Hi, Lisa. And I thought I would, I would give it a go. And boy, did I learn stuff. <laughs> So I used, this is a, a spread that uses majors only, so logically I used my new, um, new Moon Crystal Tarot, which is ma a majors only deck. I didn't have to pick out the, the majors. How neat. <laughs> so yeah, <clears throat> I did uh, the reading already because I'm not that cool that I would totally read this on camera <laughs> but yeah uh, first question is um, no no question uh, first position is uh, my vibration subtle energies and what I got was dun, 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 it's the tower and it I think it means that my energies you guys are not subtle at all. At the moment I think I'm going still going through massive changes, through transformations and it shows it just the old has to go, it has to be deconstructed so I can build new things and, um, and yeah we have the Tokyo Tower here so struck by lightning um, <clears throat> I'm uh, in the moment in my life that I still don't have this solid structure uh, and it's okay. It's a phase I'm going through and it's it really rings true uh, for me. So yeah, <laughs> subtle energies, huh? Um, then uh, how do I perceive the invisible world? And I got the hangman. Can you see it? So um, yeah, I think it's it might mean that um, I see the invisible world as a world with its own rules. It's like a, an upside down world, which is it has different rules to our uh, our visible world. Um, and I am still, you know, after. So many years being Catholic, I'm still rebuilding, rebuilding uh, my ideas about the the other worlds. It's still changing. I'm still, um, yeah, I'm still in the process of trying to observe and have my own image of it. But it's still a bit fuzzy. Then. Uh, how am I able to interpret messages? And I got the Emperor. I must tell you, this is my birth card. I'm uh, an Emperor and it shows. <laughs> <clears throat> I think it means, among other things, that I'm still um, a very rational person and possibly it uh, blocks many messages from beyond to me because I am so, um, yeah, down to earth and rational. Uh, this is how I in interpret. And yeah, I think, uh, um, I think that I changed so, so much from the, a person who was uh, really, really, really down to earth to my um, stage at the moment. But it just shows that I'm still kind of there. This is how I uh, perceive. And there is still a long way before me. Then um, number four, how can I improve my connection? And it's the judgment card. So I think, uh, again, I need more trust. I need to trust more because after, after I um, <clears throat> stopped being Catholic, I got so um, 
you know, I felt very betrayed and hurt. So it was very, very difficult for me to believe in just anything. Um, <clears throat> so, um, again, I think I... Uh, I changed a lot, but there is still, still so much in front of me to be done, to be experienced, to be, um, I, um, I should try to be even more open. It's hard, but yeah, I'm looking forward to that. I will be uh, trying it um, all the time to be more receptive for the messages and not to judge them by reason only. And then I calculated uh, the sum of my cards and I got the chariot. And it just sums it perfectly because there is a long way before me. There is a lot of uh, things that I should do, that I can do. So it's not um, a really a surprise for me here. <clears throat> It just shows uh, where I am on the path and that this path will take me to many, many places, uh, many wonderful places, I think, many interesting places. Um, so keep your fingers crossed for me. <clears throat> Excuse me for my voice, I'm still recovering after my horrible flu. <clears throat> but yeah, I hope you've enjoyed. I would love to uh, see your answers and um, thank you so much for watching. Bye!